Good evening. Welcome to paradise. Paradise killer. We are standing in front of the uh, knife through the heart bar. And we're going to um, ask our friendly red skeleton about their illegally whiskey burning business in the dead zone. First we hang out. Fancy a drink. Ah, oh, I'm paying for it. What's your recommendation this time, Sam? How are you doing, LD? I'm exhausted. I thought you might be. How about a dish of edamame and a whiskey misuari? Perfect. Serving whiskey in a misuari style is good with food. Mixing chilled whiskey and chilled mineral water lengthens the flavor but maintains mouthfeel. You can really taste the toffee flavor in this one, can't you? This taste reminds me of something. Remember that Nebula's fine aged soul? A deep and complex yet delicate whiskey. One of that Nebula's most popular whiskies. You enjoyed it just before your exile. We had one last night in my bar before your exile. We drank this together with Lydia, didn't we? You have good memory. That is my job to remember everything about a guest in my bar. I'm not just here to serve drinks. It is Imperative that I select the right drink and make sure you leave happier than when you arrived. Where did you learn? Unfortunately, I did not have a bar master to learn from. I had some other skills to fall back on though, didn't I? Assassination. Assassination is not just placing a knife between ribs. You must know your target, remember everything about them. Assess the atmosphere and mood of the target to find the perfect moment and method. The kill is a performance, an economy, economy of emotion, uh, of motion, a cer ceremony of precision, tools arrayed and used intimately. You see that when I make a drink, don't you? I'd love to stay, but this mass murder won't solve itself. Please come back, won't you? Looking forward to it. I still haven't uh, figured out to remember checking my starlight notes before I going into these dialogues. What do you know about the escape last night? I'm not sure what help I can be at you. Have you spoken to Akiko? Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the entity folding drive burst? Lydia couldn't contact Yuri for a while. Was that because of a blackout? That's what I'm trying to find out. Did you see Yuri last night? Lydia tried phoning him. You should ask her, shouldn't you? Did you see Architect last night? <laughs> Always just tell me to talk to the people myself. Did you see Crimson last night? Sometimes she stops by for a drink in the evening, but I didn't see her until the crisis meeting last night, LD. What do you know about the second holy seal? Uh, he seems to know nothing.
Um, the Dead Zones bad news early. If you're looking into a crime from a decade ago, you're going to have to stare into the hell coffin. Did you see Witness to the End last night? Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements? Blah, blah. Want to tell me what a lump of flesh cut from a god is doing in a security safe in your storeroom? What flesh? Sammy. I don't know what you're talking about, Aldi. Is someone trying to frame me? Did someone plant, plant it there? Did you plant it there? Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I promise you, Aldi. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you know about the four Frodis here? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I know anything. No one does, do they? Any idea why Lydia's knife was, was outside the penthouse? No idea, Ali. You sure it's hers? Don't test me. It has an engraving from you. Well, that is her knife. No idea what, why you found it there, though. Have you asked her about it? Do you know anything about the murder of the martial guards outside of the council building? I don't do, Ali. Terrible business, isn't it? So I've asked about Jury's motive. Um, he's after my time and Ludia mentioned him. I don't know him. People speak to bartenders, pour their heart out after a bad day. He does come in from time to time. We all need a drink, right? I don't trust people who don't. <laughs> we all have our own ways. It can be a dark path, so be careful, won't you? What can you tell me about him? He's a power boy. All he thinks about is power and ambition. He wants to be on the console. Sure does. Maybe he finally snapped? Snapped? All he wants to pursue is ambition. I voted against him in one of his numerous motions and he came across the room with me. He's angry and impatient. He thinks he's ready to run the show. Don't all young people though? Though so Yuri got a motive to frame Sam and Lydia. I need to talk to Carolina and Lydia again. Uh, I need a demon expert. And looks like I have to go back to the death zone at some point. Um, how do I find Lydia? I want to go to Lydia. Fuck! Mm. Uh, let's climb back up. Um, don't you think it's a bit of a flaw? What is? Allowing a possessed citizen to stay on the island. You people are all about getting rid of demons. It's one of your main things. You never shut up about it. And they probably had the reasons. Ah, yes. Making an example out of a criminal, or one of the many rituals we have, or Akiko needs someone to waterboard on a bad day. This wasn't as interesting as I hoped. See you around. Sorry, I'm not interesting enough for you. Going with 
was a flow. Trying to find Lydia. Why are my graphics so bad today? Better, I think. They even have hangers for closes out at their windows. Oh right, she's there. <sighs> Crouching finally leads me to this blood crystal. The glitch sound has bothered me. For a long time. Harry woman. Let's go for a drive, LD. Oh, your jacket doesn't smell too bad. Well, ain't you a charmer, LD? Ever thought about replacing it? You're out of your mind. You never replace a battle jacket. It becomes part of your life. Part of you. It's been millennia. And it'll be millennia more. What are you painting at the moment? Abstract stuff. This island has existed for centuries. What does it mean to me? That kind of thing. I'd like to see them. Might learn something more about you. I'll paint something that rep represents you, LD. What represents me? I'm thinking about it. it must be a hard island to paint. Why? There's a lot of history here. I have to focus, block that out. Concentrate on how the island makes me feel in the moment. The beach. Okay again, LD? Perfect. Now. Come on, LD. LD, I have, I have something I think we should discuss. It's probably nothing early. Nothing is probably something. K man is missing, right? K man? Or K Jax. Yeah, he is. This has probably nothing to do with it, but I like tanging with K man, so I want to tell you. The other day, Yuri started freaking out in the HQ. Totally went off at one of the assistants. How does this relate to K Jax? He was looking for his ring. It's a nice ring that he commissioned from K. Jax. Can you describe it? It's an ornate thing. The metalwork is over the top. Lots of overlapping bands. It isn't K. Man's normal style, but Yuri insisted. It's got a big blue with fire in it. Why was he yelling at the assistant? Yuri was lashing out. He lost the ring and was going berserk about it. Do you think this is relevant? I want to help K. Man, you know. I think it is. Thanks, Lydia. What can you tell me about Yuri and what he was doing last night? 
I was talking with him all night. He was my handler for the pickups. Right on, LP. <sighs> the islands exist in separate pockets of reality, so we can't just hop on a boat trip over there. We have to go through the Paradise Gate, get our trans-dimensional travel on. I'll show you what heavy industry built this car to do it. It's the only thing on the islands that can go through the gate, and I am the fairy woman. On the night and island ends, I wait for syndicate members to report to jury that they are done with their duties. Yuri calls me and arranges a pickup. I grab them and take them through the gates to the new island. Ooh, the investigator is here. Uh, you were in contact with him all night? Well, there was a time where I couldn't contact him. Then we got to the paradise gates. I checked in with him to confirm the warm-up sequence started, but I couldn't get through to him. Any idea why? Is it unusual? It has happened a couple times before. The reality folding drive sometimes causes it. Just all that happened last night of all nights. I checked his phone records at the comms tower. His phone went dark last night. Come on, LD. Think he was up to something? It's one of the possible truths. Often go climbing? A new hobby? Never been one for physical pursuits near the LD. Though so the repelling gear I found near tire tracks from your car on the roof of the council building doesn't belong to you. Can't say it does, LD. Sorry I can't be of more help. Why? Why are your tire tracks in the penthouse? LD, that wasn't from last night. When was it then? A couple of weeks ago I went up there to think the sunset looks so good up there. Do you weren't up to a little infiltration? You really think I was on the roof on the council building trying to break in? Somebody got in. Do you know anything about the open grate on the council what? building? Grate? Maintenance hatch. It's been cut open and something dragged through it. Not sure why you think I'd know anything about that. I think your knife was used to open the grate. I found your knife outside the penthouse. It's a combat knife that's engraved with a message from Sam. You found my knife? I've been looking for that for ages. It disappeared a while ago. It disappeared? Yeah, I couldn't find it one day. Like, it just stopped and vanished. Uh -huh. Do many things vanish around here? Or is it just your knife that mysteriously vanished and then appeared outside a crime scene? Come on, LD. <sighs> Come on, LD. You never lost something before? Do you know why the blade is damaged? Back, Not much need for a combat blade on this island, so it just became a tool. Pops the cap of a beer bottle, tighten the axle, nut on the car, you know? Can I have it back? It's sentimental. Right, not Lydia. This is evidence. Do you know anything about the murder of the martial guards outside of the council building? What do you know about the fourth Holy Seal? Uh, I think there's not more about her. Check the light again. Who's, who else is nearby? Rimson? Rimson nearby? Go talk to her.
Oh. What's that? The girl played cries out for light. I wonder how I'll be able to use um to use the grill. find crimson again. She's somewhere down in the sewers. I remember them much. Ah, I found another crest. Got that crystal for it. Uh. No, not down here. I mean, you do have a. I think. Yeah, right, the entrance. Yeah. So, what do we. First of all, we need to meditate. There's a lot of stuff ab above, but. Oh, not right here. Harry doesn't like Crimson and may have some information about her motive. Don't have a... I'm not sure why she's having... why she's having the exclamation mark. Let's hang out first. Um, tell me about your blessing. The 90th island incident? It was a weird island from the beginning. Strange feeling in the air, like it was a powder keg waiting to go. About two centuries into the demonic invasion happened. Think it was a setup? You mean by the syndicate? A conspiracy? I don't think so. We discovered an Eden cult in the apartments. They'd convinced themselves the passing comet was the god. They were amateurs, but managed to reach out into space. The demons flooded in. Why was this invasion so bad? Akiku and Marshalls hit the cult hard. Real shock and awe response. The apartments were demolished before the corruption set in. We thought we'd got them, but the cult had a trick. There was a possessed cult member chained up in the sewers. Marshals missed them in their sweep. High on successfully wiping out the apartments. The guy in the sewers let the demons slowly seep into the island. The foundations of the island became rotten. Then the demons attacked. Swarms of them came from underground. Everyone took up arms. So you fought the fight and got blessed. Not just a pretty face lady. Akikyo and her marshals were pinned down at the temple. I held the line at the council building. Akiko's never forgiven me. She was convinced the demon general would go for the temple. I believed otherwise. After the battle, the gods blessed me and I got this new head. Sorry times I would lady. Be glad I didn't charge you for this. Go save paradise instead of hanging around in the sewer. I'll be back for another story.
Why would Akiko kill the council? Akiko is a soldier through and through. She's also their leader. They're the only family she's ever wanted. The marshals aren't syndicates, though. They're citizens. A security measure by Mansara. They don't have our immortality and they don't get moved between islands. Sure. That makes them expendable, too. Precisely. Akiko has endured a millennia of sadness watching her troops die or get left behind. She wants them in the syndicate, get them genes therapied up and create a batal battalion of immortal soldiers. And her heartache. She has motions to syndicate to try and get her marshals inducted. Being refused every time. She's hurting and she's angry. What does she get from murdering the council? She wouldn't be promoted to a position where she can change the rules and keep her marshals alive between islands. She'd use the murder to scare the new council. The untouchables became touched by the hand of death. We can argue for increased militarization on the next island, scapegoated on a citizen, and panics the next council into creating martial law with troops inducted into the syndicate. Use loyal troops rather than expandable troops. Precisely. Montserrat was always scared of immortal soldiers having dangerous swords and leading a coup. If Akiko did this, she proves that the threat isn't from the marshals. <sighs> Got any proof? Sure do. I pulled this from the Moon database. You never know when something like this will come in useful. Thanks. Lady, here's more. I haven't got proof, so I'm not charging you for what I'm about to say. Akiko falls in love with the troops. That's why she hurts so much. She has had a string of relationships throughout the islands. Is there someone special on this island? Captain Woff. He's the highest ranking marshal under Akiko. The highest ranking marshals are chosen to guard the council during the birth of a new island. Oh, he was murdered last night? Looks away. So, if her lovers are dying when the island ends, her motive is to kill the council to push her agenda through, get her marshals into the syndicate and make them immortal? That's a pretty bit bad, bad to make. I agree, something doesn't add up. Sure. I'm not convinced Worf died last night. Then tease lady, that sounds like a secret. <laughs> then secrets have costs. I'll refund you for our earlier transaction. I'm glad to be back. It's a deal, taking my first steps into the secret trading industry. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Oh. The dead marshals outside the council building aren't marshals, the blood doesn't match. So where are the real marshals? We're working on it. If you want to enter the Viper's Nest, you could try the barracks. If I was a marshal looking to lay low, I'd be in there. They don't let anyone in. I see what I can find. Did you see Yuri last night? Da da da. Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? Not down here. There's a very rare lady. If he's using that as an alibi, you need to be skeptical. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? It's an open secret that it requires some kind of godliness to get through. An open secret? Word got out a while back. From who? Not sure, it just kind of bubbled up. Someone probably got loose lipped up the drink. Though, everyone in the syndicate would know how to breach it. Not so specific, but if anyone says they don't know anything about it, they're lying. Trying to cover their asses. Now you're here. Time to uncover some asses. Yo, get him, tiger. Do you know why witness would want to kill the council? I know witness was crying to despise Montsora. Montsora was tightening his grip on us all. Montsora was giving into paranoia, worried about his precious perfect island. 
History was repeating, the island was shrouded in fear. We all grown complacent and happy in our freedoms. Montserrat had always been building towards a perfect island and a perfect syndicate. As you know, the syndicate was formed with the goal of resurrecting our gods. 24 islands in and we weren't doing a good job. Almost all of the pyramids out in the ocean stood empty. Montserrat didn't care though. He decided that was step 2. Step 1 was the syndicate. Our efforts have always been divided between resurrecting the gods and improving the islands. If Montserrat could make the syndicate perfect, we could give our full attention to the gods. Why wouldn't Witness want to go along with that? He's been gone a while, Montserrat changed, so did Witness. Witness didn't trust Montserrat at all. Has Witness been deceived by a god? Not that I'm aware of. I've never had that suspicion. I think it's, this is just some self-radicalization. He slipped further and further into worship and fear of the astral masters. You don't need to be deceived into being a servant when you've got a healthy dose of the end of times fear in you. So, Witness murders the council to put the fear of the gods into them and refocus the syndicate on our holy mission. I'm not saying that's what happened, but if you want to pin a motive on Witness, it's what I'd go with. Witness believes we're heading for the end times. How can we have end times if our gods are dead or dormant? Only a handful of gods came to Earth, the rest of them are out there. The gods are self-serving morons, they are never looked out for their own kind. Take it up with Witness, I have no time for religious debates. Why does Doom just have a photo of Akiko? Business business. He was in a relationship. He still loves her. It didn't work out. She can't relate to people who aren't soldiers and he can't keep his dick in his pants. A strange choice for him. Akiko is an amazing soldier. She's intoxicating to watch at work. Got the cash to pay for a secret? This is a big one. The syndicate's origins aren't what they seem. Oh yes, I do. He knows the original secret. Before the first island, during the Great Betrayal, Montara made a mistake that got Doom Jazz's father killed. This was before you joined up with the syndicate. He was our original military general, legendary soldier. I'd, uh, I'd always heard rumors about him before I joined the syndicate. There weren't many humans the gods feared, but he was one of them. When the syndicate fled to the first island, Montserrat made a stupid call to investigate a tomb that was supposed to contain a heavenly weapon. He was wrong, there was nothing there. Doomjess's father attempted to hold off the pursuing armies during Montserrat's folly. It was too much. Our pursuers broke through and killed half of the syndicate before we got away. The incident was struck from history, but some of the existing council members know about it. Ice Kiwami likes to talk when he's had a drink and Doom Jazz was his closest friend. He let the secret slip. Was? Ice Kiwami had some skeletons in his closet. He got found out. The next island was going to be a bad time for him. He took his own life a few years ago. It's rare for syndicate members to take their own life, unheard for a council member. A secret for another time? Montsara was planning on doing a similar operation that got Doom Jazz's father killed, a suicide mission for Akiko. Doom Jazz found out that he'd kill the council to protect her. Wouldn't you kill a bureaucrat to save the person you love? Well, 
What do you know about Henry's demonic possession 10 years ago? Henry's possession worries me. Nothing has surfaced about it. It's either as they say or someone is keeping it a secret. How did he get the knowledge to communicate with the gods? The library in the headquarters is full of forbidden grimoires. What do you know about the second Terry seal? One of the secrets I've never been able to get my hands on. Fuck. Fix that way too quickly. Um, so... Gotta pay for all the possible motives. Um, Carmelina isn't allowed on the council. The Silence family were barred from ever being on the council. You remember her father's crime, right? Romeo's fall from grace. He was deceived by cosmic deceit. Bingo. Cosmic deceit deceived him with promises of power, standard stuff. Cosmic deceit wanted Romeo to sacrifice crying grudge in a ritual. That would give cosmic deceit enough power to resurrect. Resurrecting the gods is our mission, but not at the expense of deceptions and sacrificing other gods. Romeo was stopped before he could go through with it. His punishment was execution, and the rest of his family being barred from a council seat for eternity. The real link still stands? Carmelina is on the throne right now. Josh thinks they made the right call. It's a temporary situation. He's the highest rank outside of the council, and we're about to, mo to move to a new perfect island that Carmelina designed. This transition to our eternal home needs to go right, and Shay's best place to get us through it. Has Carmelina protested the ruling in the past? She submitted motions to have the ruling overturned and to get on the council. All have been denied, though. Can I see these motions? Of course, I pulled some from the moon database. Carmelina, um, Mason's table to the council. Architect Carmelina formally requests a seat on the council in light of her continued work and benefit to the syndicate. She acknowledges the crime of her father, but humbly asks the council to reconsider. Motion was declined. I'll give you a little extra for free. I don't know if this helps with anything, though. Hit me. About 25 years ago, Carmelina went into isolation for a year. No one saw her. Any idea why? She said it was for work. She had a new project and didn't want to be disturbed. Nothing ever came of it, though. We were never shown the fruits of her labor. Why do you think this matters? You know when you get a bad feeling and it festers. Maybe I just need to say it out loud. Maybe it means something? I'll see what I find. Uh, Lydia and Sam's alibi. What do you know about Lydia and Sam? I know that it will cost you. I know about their last job. What last job? Back in the day, Lydia told you that after she met Sam, they left the world of assassination for good, right? It isn't that easy. Once you're in that world, you are bound to it until you, you fulfill all of your duties. An assassin is the most effective tool in the world. All tools have owners. In order to leave their old life behind, Lydia's former master had her do one last job. She had to destabilize a government in Europe. Several dead officials allowed for a regime change. Why didn't she tell me this? He's ashamed. They vowed to end the killing. Sam helped her do the job. They were in it together. It's not as romantic as the story they told everyone, is it? <laughs> Always be suspicious of romantic stories, lady. Life doesn't work like that. Is this what the council matter is? A regime change? You can say, was it revenge, a crime of passion, a regime change? You've got some investigating to do. Phew, that was a lot indeed.
So, where do we go next? They're trying to find um, KHX apartment. Or maybe I'll just climb some buildings for change. Talk to Jinji. I like Carmelina's dog. It's about the only thing I do like on the shithole island. You're breaking my heart. Don't get the wrong impression. You're near the top of the good part of the list. You've made my day, Jinji. Don't patronize me, love dies. Like I said, just hunt some hearts. I won't play for too long today. I think I have about 20 minutes left in me. Pinging noise again. Doesn't mean there's a radio tower nearby. A tower that broadcasts music to the speakers on the island. There's a tape in here. Ego 24 7. I put my TV on my balcony. We all did. Everyone danced on the balcony. It went on all night. It never happened again. Obtained. Imperfect dominoes obtained. Good for killing time. And fall accidentally. I have to carefully fall down here, I think, somehow. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Okay, this was not the way. <sighs> Maybe it's easier to jump there from the other side of the building? Enchanting blood charm. Everyone prays for good blood, strong blood, red blood. This charm is said to strengthen your blood. future. Everywhere you go there's the hum. The whole island hums with something. Is it red? No, maybe. I think it's secrets. They take on a life of their own. They become tangible. Secrets call it red. Maybe. No reality whiskey. Made with corn, rye and barley. Move with a taste of brown sugar. Best enjoyed on a rooftop. Huh? 
Mm. I made it. Righteous Montserrat t-shirt. Praise, purity, perfection. Nice fashion. It's a quote from, from Montserrat. Oof. Have jump. Next building. What's down there? It's a phone, okay. Not interested. Phones at the moment. Cheerful children's book. An inspirational book about a girl that dreamed of cartoon cakes. Ah, oh, why Jinji gotta be on the other tower now? Fancy playing cards, good for whiling away time on a rooftop with a friend. I don't think I can jump over there. Fuck, now I got stuck on the... Oh fuck, I made it. <laughs> ah I hate my life. Hello, Nikki Blood Crystal. I still have no idea how to how to get into the barracks. Um I still have no idea where KHX apartment is. How do I find out where his apartment is? I don't think it shows up on the... It doesn't show up on the... Um, on the map. Someone said it's overlooking the ocean, but it's an island, so... Uh, basically, every thing could be overlooking the ocean. An incoherent abandoned diary. Reading fra fragments of a citizen's memories of their previous life must be hard adjusting to the island. Am I stuck?
I should suppose Shinji is staying up there. So maybe I should just go there again.
Nostalgic fallen, fallen rose. Who knows where it fell from? Who knows who dropped it? I hope the rose made someone happy. Oof. So much adrenaline. Okay. Do I jump down to Chinji from here now? I so. No, 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 fuck, fuck. Oh, Alright, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for today. I'm <laughs> going to find a safe point. <laughs> ah. And climb on some more buildings the next time. Give me, give me a safe point somewhere, please. That's it for today.